Today we're making this adorable rainbow wreath with pom-pom clouds. Let's get into it. Grab your floral cutters or pliers and use them to cut open your 14 inch wreath form. In full disclosure, I struggled with this part a little bit, so I had to call in my husband for backup. Make sure to only cut off two out of the six sections of the reef form. Cut off any of the little tiny pieces at the end to make sure that your rainbow is as smooth as possible. Grab your red yarn and tie a double knot in the bottom left hand side of the rainbow in the outermost ring of the reform. Unwrap about 10 feet of yarn and cut it with your scissors. Grab the end of your yarn and wrap it around the first and the second arches of the rainbow in like a figure eight motion, going under and around, and then under and around, and make sure to pull your yarn all the way through. Continue with the figure eight motion around the first two posts until you filled up the entire first section. Make sure that you push the yarn as close together as possible. Flip your wreath form over and tie the end of the red yarn to the nearest post on the back of the wreath form. Now that the first section is finished, you're gonna repeat the process. Pull up about 10 feet of red yarn. Tie a knot around the first pole of the bottom of the second section. Then take the end of the yarn and wrap it around the first two arches of the rainbow until you filled up the entire second and third sections. Make sure that you don't squish all the yarn together so much that they're piled on top of each other. You want them to lay next to each other flat and side by side. Now do the same thing with the orange yarn. Tie a knot around the bottom of the fourth section and use a figure eight motion to fill up the entire fourth section top row with orange yarn. To do the second row of the rainbow, you're going to need to tie a double knot around the third pole in the rainbow wreath. And on the other end of that yarn, you're going to thread it through a large yarn needle. Now you're going to use your needle to wrap the yellow yarn around the second and the third arches of the wreath. Um, because the red yarn is in the way, you're going to need to move the pieces to the side in order to create a space for the needle. Now when I first started doing the second row, I wasn't doing it like that and it made my wreath very fuzzy. So I will show you when I get to the point where I started doing it so you can see it.
Okay, so you can see here, I scooted a piece of the red yarn to the side in order to weave the yellow yarn in between. Then after that, I proceeded to do my little figure eight situation. So that's that. Okay, so I completed two yellow sections on the second row, and now I'm gonna go ahead and do the other two sections on the second row with the green yarn. This shade of green yarn is okay, but I do wish I would've had lime green yarn or Kelly green yarn, because I think that would've made it even more cute. If you like to keep up with all the projects that I'm making, hit the subscribe button, follow me on Pinterest, or check out my website at dncreates.com. Hey, Nala. As usual, here's my design assistant, Nala. All right, back to the craft. Okay, for my last rainbow row, I'm gonna fill one section up with blue yarn, and I'm gonna do the last three sections with the purple yarn. Around Christmas time, I made another yarn woven wreath that I thought was really beautiful. And if you'd like to check that out, click the I card up above. For a complete list of all the materials that I use for this project, or if you just like to see step-by-step -step written instructions, check the description box for a link to the blog post for this project. And now it's time for the question of the day. What is your favorite way to decorate for spring? Let me know in the comment section below. Once you finish threading your entire wreath, flip it over and make a double knot on the back of the wreath. Um, you can either use a knot that's already there or you can make a double knot on one of the posts on the back to secure it. Use your scissors to cut the end of the string. Okay, so we're done threading our rainbow, and now it's time to clean it up. Use a hot glue gun and a skewer to glue down any of the hanging strings on the back side of the rainbow. Grab your scissors and cut down any of the hanging strings that are longer than a half an inch. If I'm honest, this project is a little uh, time consuming, so you may want to do it if you have some time to kill while binge watching your favorite shows or catching up with an old friend. Pick up your scissors and cut off any of the fuzzy pieces that are on your rainbow. Now we're gonna use our white yarn to create the clouds. We're gonna make 10 separate pom-poms for our clouds and five pom-poms will go on each side of the rainbow. To make the pom-poms, you're gonna wrap the yarn around your hands 30 times. Cut that yarn and then cut another piece of yarn that is about 12 inches long. Slide the yarn off your hand, keeping it in the same circle shape. Use the 12 inch string to tie a double knot around the loops of yarn. Cut through each of the yarn loops. 
Flatten out your pom pom and cut the strings in the shape of a circle. Then continue to flatten it out from different angles so your pom pom will be in the perfect shape of a circle from any angle. Then fluff your pom pom out and you're good to go. You're gonna make two rows of pom poms on each side of the rainbow, three at the bottom and two at the top. If you like pom-pom crafts, click the i-card to check out my pom-pom wall hanger. Glue the pom-poms into place with your hot glue gun. And there you have it, another project that was so much fun to make and I think it turned out great. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe because that really helps my channel grow. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and keep coming back because you never know what I'll be creating next. Bye guys!